Hi, my name is Henry Segerman. This is Fractal Graph 4. So this is another uh, fractal graph produced by a process of iterated substitution. Uh, so this one uh, is based on the cubic lattice. Uh, it starts with the vertices and edges of a cube, and then there are some substitution rules. So uh, vertices of that graph are replaced by uh, subgraphs, and then the edges are replaced by uh, some number of parallel edges that connect those subgraphs together and you follow those substitution rules and do them four times and this is what you get. It's sort of a wonderfully uh, craggy fractal object. Um, so let me tell you what the, the substitution rules are. So we start with uh, the vertices and edges of a cube and then every vertex looks like this where the three edges uh, come out of the vertices, uh, the vertex at right angles to each other and that's replaced by uh, this object here. Um, so as with uh, many of the other uh, fractal graphs, so all of the vertices in this guy are degree 3, and uh, so the vertex is replaced by uh, this uh, graph here with the green edges and the red vertices, and then where this vertex connects across to its neighbors uh, over here, we have uh, three edges replacing uh, one edge here. Now you'll notice um, uh, there's something a little different about uh, this substitution rule, in that the uh, the replacement of the edge, these three edges are in a, in a line, uh, so you, you can sort of see the, uh, the square uh, face of this 3x3x3 three by three by three cube, and these vertices, uh, these, these edges connect out um, three uh, edges in a line going down the middle of that square face. And so you have to worry, so if I've got this guy and there's some guy next to him over here, how do I know that these guys are going to line up? How do I know that they aren't sort of uh, uh, in the wrong orientation. And so there's a simple way to, to make sure that that's true. Um, so I uh, had an edge, well, previously, before I replaced this, I had this guy here, this guy, uh, this edge connecting across in this direction, and I just make a rule, whenever I have an edge which is connecting across in this direction, the three uh, replacement edges will be uh, aligned in this uh, orientation here, and with three, three, when, when I've got an edge coming out this way, the three guys come across in this direction, and up here they, they go across in here. So there's some sort of um, orientation issue you have to worry about. As long as you're consistent, then everything works out. So, um, so we replace uh, this guy with uh, uh, this guy, and then as with fractal graph 3, now you have some vertices which have three guys coming out at right angles, and you also have some uh, T-junction shape uh, vertices, so you need some uh, things to replace those kinds of vertices with. So um, here we are, this is the thing we need to replace, and there's actually two different cases to worry about. So um, depending on how uh, depending on how things are arranged, so it could be that so this guy here is arranged like this, and this is where the, the, uh, the edges here, the three uh, edges that replace it, are in this direction. And so you can either be pointing sort of along that direction, in which case you're in this case, or the, uh, the third edge out of the T can be pointing not in the direction of these three edges, but in the other direction. And in that case, you, well, in that case you, you have this sort of replacement graph. So with these two different rules, um, you cover all of the uh, possibilities. And now, together with the uh, uh, corner replacement, now we have a closed system. So now uh, every kind of vertex in here um, is either three edges coming out at right angles or a T-junction, and uh, we, we have these two different uh, replacement graphs to deal with this, uh, these two different cases of, of how the, the T is oriented relative to the directions of the three edges. And so you start with a cube and you uh, perform your substitution moves four times, and this is what you get. So this is fractal graph four.